What's up YouTube, this is Paul from Mickey Tech Tips. Today we are going to be installing and configuring mouse without borders. Because imagine, let's say you have a laptop and a desktop, or maybe even just two laptops. But you have no way of linking them together um, without um, having to buy two monitors and have to do some kind of complicated setup. So today we're going to be using Mouse Without Bordles, a free um, um, network KVM. Um, I actually want to be KVM. It would only be um, network um, KM program, which means keyboard and mouse program, that lets you share your mouse and keyboard between two different PCs for free. So I guess let's get started. Okay, so this when this first pops up, you'll get a let's get started on here, and you'll also get one down here too that says let's get started. So you need to make sure you got them installed on both your PCs. So we're going to click yes on this one, and we're going to click yes on this one. Now it'll pop up, well can I find it? And so what you do is you click the plus. It'll say go down to settings. So then I'm going to go down to my other computer. And I'm going to go down into. Go down here. Then I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to click settings. You, you push the back button. I guess you tell. Okay, you tell it no on one of the PCs. That's what it was. You tell it no. Then it gives you this code. Then you go up here to your other computer. I don't care if you get this code because this is only to the network so if you try to connect to this anywhere else it's not going to work. So it'll give you a code so make sure you tell it no. Then you go up here to your other PC and you enter in the code. So I'll be right back after I enter the code. Okay so I'm back. I entered the code so I'm going to click link and it will link it to the PC. And so if we turn over to the other PC we should be getting something to pop up um, soon. So I'll be back once we get something to pop up. But anyway, so it's going to do this. And eventually it will connect to the other one and do something similar. So right now it says downhill um, connecting. So it's going to time out. It, it might do this for a second. Just give it a... Um, minute and so then it's going to pop up with this on both screens saying that you're almost done and it'll pop up on that screen if you're almost done so then what you're going to do is you're going to click next and then it'll say all done nice walk you click done it brings up the configuration screen and we click next done it brings up the configuration screen so if we go back up here we have both PCs and you can and you can play around with this and drag this around I think yeah you can drag them around and set your layout um, just remember and you can also do like a two roll if, if you had them set up kinda of funny just remember the one thing is it um, no matter how you have it set up it's it's always gonna drag if you say like drag the mouse from my Venue 11 Pro over onto this one. I had two screens like I usually do. It'll drag it to your most, your left most screen, no matter what. Um, and also, this program is not perfect because if you go into the other options um, and you set all these for share clipboard, high lo logo on mouse screen, and the screen edge, and all of that good stuff, and you leave it s set to how it should be. Um, sometimes if you move the mouse over, it'll end up on the middle of the screen. And most most of the time I see it happen on the um, other um, machine on the Venue 11 Pro. But it's neat because watch. I have my mouse here. I can drag it over. And there's my mouse over here. And actually this is, the screen refresh is actually working pretty fine right now. I can drag it over with this one. 
and it brings it up over here. I do recommend you turn on the um, find my mouse whenever I hit control so you can find your mouse. And look, see, I'm pushing control right there, it's showing up there. And then I've had it set to hide at the corner, but instead it hides at the, at the middle of the screen at, at the top. And sometimes it just goes to the middle of the screen, like right down here. So it all depends on how you have it set up. But it's neat because I can use this for a low cost um, um, KM um, for keyboard and mouse. And they also have a Windows Phone app, which you can pull it up. It's a simple app. I'm not going to connect to it because I've re reset the software, so I'd have to configure it again. But it's a really good mouse. Um, it's called, also called Mouse Without Borders. Don't have to connect, so I'll just push uh, crud. So, hold on. It's also called Mouse Without Borders. Why is this doing this? Oh, I, I, know, I know why. I'll be right back. Alright, so when it brings it up and connects, it'll give you something to type in a thing on your phone to authorize. So it says AST, so I'll type in A CRUD. S T CRUD. If it don't match, you're gonna have you have to reconnect. So I'm gonna type in my IP address again. Um, so yeah. So once you get logged in, you're typing the code. So mine says KDA, and then as you can see, it popped up. So now I have full mouse control of the PC, and then I can bring it over to the other screen, and I can bring it back. And here's what the app looks like, um, like that. And it's a really neat app, um, honestly. I think um, think this was like some kind of Microsoft Labs um, project done by like the Microsoft employee. But it's a really neat program. It's cheaper than Synergy and some of the other stuff out there. But the only limitation with this is it only works on Windows because even with using the Windows emulator wine on like Ubuntu and stuff, I could not get it to work. So this is the so this is a Windows only program, but it works fine. And honestly, I like this because you might have two desktops and need to use a um, KM on it, so you, so you, you can just share one mouse and keyboard. So yeah, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.